One morning, Toby the tram engine was feeling glum. The other engines were busier than ever, but poor Toby hadn't taken any passengers with Henry Redder for weeks, only shunting freight cars in the yard. Just then, Gordon puffed in to take on water. Oh, hello, Gordon, said Toby sadly. Are you pulling the express today? Who else but me, huffed Gordon. You're lucky to always have passengers, remarked Toby. You know, Henrietta and I haven't gone this long without passengers since. Well, not since my old tramway closed down. Then Toby remembered. It was back in the good old days, chuckled Toby. We had our own line, hauled freight, and Henrietta was always bustling with passengers. They'd visit us on holidays and always remembered our names. But then they stopped coming back. My line was closed and the good old days were over. It would be nice to have my own tramway again, sighed Toby, like having my own branch line. Paw, snorted Gordon. Branch lines are just useless extensions of the important main line. That's all Sir Topham Hack cares about. And he puffed rudely away. Just then, Thomas puffed in with some freight cars. He saw Toby, looking dismayed. What's the matter? asked Thomas. Oh, just miss being useful, replied Toby. If I could just have some work to do, he said sadly. Thomas smiled. Well, you can take that train of building supplies to Percy for me, said Thomas. They're needed up at the work site of the new main line extension. Then I'll be able to collect Sir Totten Hat early, and you'll have some work to do. Toby was excited, though the extension was news to him. Come on, Toby, said his driver. We'll take Thomas's branch line to give you a nice long run. Toby was now beaming with joy. He reversed on to the train of supplies that set off for the work site. But as he puffed down the line, he couldn't stop thinking about what Gordon had said. Sir Topham Hatt really does only care about the main line, he thought to himself. Meanwhile, Percy was fuming. Where's Thomas? I'm exhausted, he complained. He'll be here soon, soothed his driver. But we must remind him not to spoil the surprise. Percy was puzzled. What surprise? Before his driver could answer, Toby arrived. Here are the building supplies, Percy, he panted. Toby, what are you doing here? He snapped. I'm sorry. Thomas said I could deliver these supplies for him. Is there anything else I can do to help? Percy eyed a long line of freight cars full of scrap and tree branches. You can take those cars back to the yards for me, he replied. The train looked quite heavy for Toby, but he agreed. He rolled onto the special junction, called a Y, to change directions. He then buffered up to the heavy train and was on his way. Soon, Toby was pushing the heavy train of freight cars up a big hill. He made a tremendous effort, but just as he reached the top, the weight of the cars became too much for him. His driver shut off steam and applied the brakes, but it was too late. There was worse to come. As Toby thundered toward the worksite, he saw Percy dead ahead on his track. Look out, Percy! cried Toby. Toby rocketed past Percy into some bushes near the worksite. Toby shut his eyes and braked with all his might. He at last came to a stop in front of an old station with an old shed. When Toby opened his eyes, he couldn't believe where he was. Percy pulled up behind him. Are you all right, Toby? He gasped. Toby was bubbling with excitement. Percy, this is my old tramway. And look, there's my old shed. I, I, I never thought I'd see it again. Just then, Thomas arrived with a work group and Sir Topham Hatt. He spoke sternly to Toby. You should know your own strength by now, Toby. He boomed. I'm sorry, sir, but I only wanted to help. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad to see you safe. Though it's a shame you've spoiled your surprise. 
Toby was confused. My surprise, sir? Sir Topham Hatt smiled. Yes, Toby, our new extension is in fact a restoration. We are restoring and connecting your tramway with the main line and Thomas's branch line. Toby grinned from buffer to buffer. He almost couldn't believe it. Oh, sir, thank you, sir, he cheered happily. When the restoration was complete, Toby and Henrietta took a special charter of friends, old and new, down the line of an opening run. For Toby, it seemed the good old days were here to stay.